Tony's show of the day. Tony's week, show of the day, flannel, war paint. Let's talk about it. War paint is a weird show this season because of how normal and traditional it is. I mean, you listen to the show and it sounds like a, a pretty expected piece of musical theater. That's not a bad thing. It's just surrounded by a season of non-traditional musicals, musicals without overtures, musicals with, you know, a, a new sound and not a like musical theater sound. And Warpaint feels like a traditional piece of musical theater, and it's always that unfortunate thing. In another season, Warpaint may have been nominated for a bunch of other things, but everything else is so revolutionary and strange, and we're seeing this new sea change on Broadway that Warpaint just kind of, well, just kind of exists. But that totally makes it worth even more of a listen, because frankly, I think Warpaint might get lost a little bit among the weeds. Um, it's certainly I don't see this as a show that has much of a life beyond Broadway. It's a show written for Christine Ebersole and Patti Lapone, and without them, uh, I don't know if anyone's gonna wanna go see it. Of course, they do it wonderful justice. It's great to watch them perform, but without them, that's, you know, just kind of okay. But it is just what it says on the tin. Christine Ebersole and Patti Lapone in war paint, great performances from both of them, beautiful 11 o'clock numbers from both of them, you know, uh, an inconsistent accent throughout from Patti Lapone, like everything you expect exactly the way you want it. It's also, and I didn't realize this until I was doing the research for this, but it's by the same team who wrote Grey Gardens the musical however many years ago. Um, and once, once you know that, you can see the similarities kind of pan out, both in like, you know, structure of song and the structure of the show and even just in like choice of source material it's it's kind of gray gardens part two or you know gray gardens the spiritual sequel um it's very well done i like a lot of the songs they're not terribly memorable as a whole but there are little lines that replay in my head over and over again catchy little bits um clever rhymes now and again you know, very traditional curse, or, uh, chorus verse, chorus verse, chorus verse kind of structures of musical theater songs, dance numbers, and you know, it's it's an episodic docu musical. Um, it's historical fiction kind of, um, and so you you see like challenge faced by the protagonists and the way they overcome it, and then another challenge, and then the way they overcome it, and another challenge, and the way they overcome it. It's a very it's a very standard feeling structure to a piece of musical theater done very well. It's also not getting the love that a lot of the other shows are getting on the internet. I think partially because it caters towards a uh, less internet going crowd, if I may say. Um, so all the more reason for you right now to go listen to Warpaint. Go do it. I'll see you in the next one.